Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have filmed and I'm super sad about that, but I've been so busy between the holidays and work. I work a regular job, so I've been busy. But today I finally had a chance to film and I've been wanting to film for a while because I got new lights. Um, before I just had the ring light that is in front of me, but now I have a soft box on either side of me. So hopefully, I don't know if the lighting is better. I don't know. We'll see when I edit it and hopefully it turns out good. So yeah, I didn't really have a look in mind today. I just kind of sat down, chill style, obviously like my hair's up, bandana, no jewelry, no fancy clothes, just a t-shirt. So I just felt like doing my makeup and filming it, testing out the lights. I haven't filmed in a minute, like I said. So I just kind of wanted to jump back into it. This is the look that I came up with. It's kind of a soft, peachy makeup look. And I was going to wear lashes, but after curling them and putting on the mascara, I just decided, hmm, that'll work. And for my eyes today, I used the Morphe 350. Super affordable, super warm nice neutral everyday palette so yeah that's pretty much all i've got i'm gonna stop talking now so if you like this look and want to see how i got it then please keep watching all right so to get started i am doing my brows and i'm using the benefit precisely my brow pencil in the shade number four and i'm just going to use this to outline my brows and then I'll fill them in with something else. I just find that if I fill them in with a pencil, I go through my pencil really fast and I have pretty long, dense brows to begin with, so it's just easier to fill them in with a pomade. So I just fill in a little bit of the front and outline them with the pencil and then I'll fill them in with the Anastasia Dip Brow and this is in the shade Soft Brown. And then to carve them out, I'm using this concealer type pencil from Inspire. I got it in, I think, one of my Ipsy bags. I usually just use regular concealer, but I thought I would use this because I had it and I feel like I use the same stuff all the time, so I wanted to use something different. And this is actually pretty easy to use because it's already in a stick and it doesn't run as much as concealer. So I'm just running that along the outside of my brows and then blending it out with a flat brush. And then I am on to the face and I am priming with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. And for a foundation, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is the L'Oreal True Match, the original one before they had the Lumi and the Cushion and the Pro Matte and all that. And this has been a longtime favorite of mine. So I am just applying that all over my face with a damp beauty blender. And then for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. I know this has been the craze of the year since it came out. So this is in the shade Light, which is lighter than I would prefer, but that's what I've got, so I am going to make it work. And I'm just applying that under my eyes and in the center of my face and over my lids as a primer. And then again, blending it out with my damp beauty blender. And then taking the RCMA No Color Powder and my Beauty Blender, I'm just going to set my concealer. I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to set it and I'm only placing this where I put the concealer because I'm going in with a cream blush, which I don't usually do, but you don't want to put a cream over a powder or it will get cakey. And this is the Dandelion Dew from Benefit. I have never used this before, but someone gave it to me and I thought I would give it a try again using different products. So I just patted that onto my cheeks with my fingers and then I'm on to bronzer and I'm using the NYC Sunny Bronzer and I just use a bigger brush to put it on my forehead, jawline and down my neck and then a smaller brush for the hollows of my cheeks just to carve them out a little more and not to disturb that cream blush that I applied. And I'm also going to run a little bit down the sides of my nose and under my lip. And then I'm going to take that same loose powder and just run it underneath my contour just to clean it up and sharpen it a bit. 
and then we are on to highlight and I am using the Anastasia That Glow Kit and I'm mixing these two bottom shades, they're just like a light gold and I'm applying this with a big fat fan brush. I like never use this brush, I always use my Morphe M501 I believe it is, but again I'm trying to use different things and I use the same brushes all the time so I thought I would just give this one a shot. So I'm just applying that highlight to the tops of my cheekbones and above my brow, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to go in and brush away that bake. And set everything with some Fix Plus just to meld all of the powders together. And then this is the Too Faced Lip Injections. I've never used this. It was just sitting in my drawer and I thought, why not? It's supposed to be like a lip plumper. Um, so I went ahead and put that on while I was gonna do my eyes. This is the Morphe 350 that I'm using, but then it started tingling and I fanned it and that's like fanning a fire. It just made it burn even more. So just be aware if you use that, don't fan it, it will tingle but um, I'm using the Morphe 350 like I said and there's no um, names to these eyeshadows so I'm just gonna describe them best I can. I started with the light peachy shade and a fluffy brush in the crease and then I'm taking a darker shade, actually the middle shade of the palette with a more dense brush and I'm just gonna drive that into the crease for a little bit more definition. and then pick up a little bit more of that peachy shade and blend it out so there are no harsh lines. And then I am taking the first shade in the palette, it's just like a creamy bone colored shade and I am applying that to my lid, nothing too crazy, like I said, it's a pretty simple look just a little something to have on the lid. And then of course go in and blend it out so that there are no harsh lines. And I'm also going to apply that same color to my brow bone. And then taking a dome pencil type brush in that first peachy shade, I'm just gonna run that along my lower lash line and kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then on a pencil brush and that darker shade, I'm going to concentrate that a little closer to my lashes, again, just for a little bit of definition. And then go in and blend the two together a little bit. And then taking the second shade in the palette, just a shimmery champagne color, I'm going to pop that onto my inner tear ducts. And then I am taking a nude eyeliner and applying that to my lower waterline just to make the eyes look more open and bright and awake. But if you wanted to do something a little more smoky, you could use something like a brown. That would be less harsh than a black and it would pair really well with the warm peachy colors that I'm using. And then I took a flat definer brush and a couple of the darker shades in the palette to apply that to the base of my lashes. And originally I was doing this just to help blend in the falsies, but like I said, I decided not to wear falsies. But this is still something you can do to make your natural lashes look a little bit more like dense and full. So whatever colors you wanna use, just create a little bit of definition at the base of your lashes. And then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a whole bunch of mascara. And I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. As usual, it's my favorite. You can get it at the drugstore, super affordable. Okay, so back to the lips. I don't know if they look any fuller really. Do they look any fuller to you guys? They didn't seem that much different to me, but they were definitely tingling. And I am outlining with this Makeup Forever pencil in the shade 5C. And then I'm applying this ColourPop Lippy in the shade 0. 
And then to the center, I'm applying Vice, also from ColourPop, just for a little bit of dimension so it's just not one flat color. And I'm just tapping that in with my finger. And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back to filming. Hopefully I can find some more time within my work schedule. And hopefully these new lights are going to be better. So if you guys did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.